Hello. So we are back Monday morning. Yeah. No, it's not Monday. It's Tuesday. Oh, sorry, I was off Monday. Anyway, I just started the video because we have an interesting case. Like an iPhone 7 board. There is an iPhone 7 board. And what happened with this is my colleague Christian, which is off today. He replaced, like, I think a few screens, like three screens on this. And the phone died. You know, this is the worst case so when you kill the customer phone. So we have to fix this. Normally I will not start a video just for a, a short capacitor or things like that. But this is interesting. Yeah. So if we are checking, and why my screen is flickering? So if you check the board, obviously that's the first step. So you see it's not charging, it's not coming go, and what do you will do first? You'll come with the power supply, which now it's on 4.2 volts, on the plus connector from the battery connector, yeah? On the plus pin. Plus pin. And it's taking, like, sorry, I was touching wrong, like 1.3 amps, but the voltage is 4.2, yeah? So, it's not like a short. You know what I mean? It's not short, it's 1.2 amps, so something is taking too much power. The phone is off. It's not supposed to be that kind of current there. According with the schematic... Let's see the schematic. You know what, not this one, this is long. I don't want to work with that one. Let's go on the other one, which is more simple. Phones, iPhone, iPhone 7. So on the iPhone 7, what we did, we come with a plus here, okay? So if it's taking so much current, is something which is connected on this power line, yeah? So what is connected here, yeah? You have like few things, few caps, two test points, nothing, nothing more. And uh, on this side of board is going to our main, main MOSFET. And the Tigris chip, yeah? Which is managing the charging. So what I did next, the next step, logical step, because after this MOSFET, from this output of this MOSFET, it's your main power rail. So you see it's going everywhere. So I was thinking like usual, let's check this power rail to see if this is shorted, which is going to the power management chip and everywhere, yeah? You can see on all the red dots are connected together. So you see all the red dots? including the Wi-Fi chip, all the red dots, they are joined together, yeah? So obviously, if something is taking more, uh, more current, it's supposed to be on this line. <coughs> so what I did on the other side of the board, check this red dot here, you see this red dot? That's the easy way to check your main power rail if everything is, is fine there. On our case, on the other side, here, on that dot, let's see under the microscope, and let's check together. So, which dot is? Let me check one more time. Is... This one. This one from here. Give me one second, please.
I'm really sorry. Yeah, so let's check that dot. Yeah, this one from here. So that's your main power rail. Let's come with the voltage. Minus. Uh, let's connect the minus here. And plus. What? Was not shorted earlier. Oh, that's crazy. Still taking power. Okay. Okay. Uh, I tested early. That's the reason why I started the video. Because it was not shorted. Oh, that's sick. That's crazy. Okay, let's open and see. If we start the video anyway. It's not short. It's not like short. This is not a short case. Yeah? Where we have a short. This is like something is taking too much power. And somehow it must be related with the, with the screen. Because it happened when they replaced the screen. Uh, I was so wrong. Probably I connect the ground in the wrong place. When I tested before starting the video. Uh, that's crazy. Anyway. Uh, this dot, yeah. Oh, what a waste of time! I can't believe. Let's see together. I think it's something here. <sighs> Plus Okay, I can I can't get it. So what's wrong there? Something is smoking. Well, not from this side. Okay, that's weird. From this side? Really? Yeah. Okay. So, one more time. Plus here. And check, check here. Check this area. Yeah? You see that movement? That's crazy. This one. Can't believe. What a waste of time. And now it's not short anymore. It's not taking power. Ah. I'm really sorry, I was thinking, you know, it's something else. Just because it was not short, yeah, it was not short. And when I test the main power, it was no, you know, it was no current drawing. So I will say, you know what, this is more interesting. So actually that capacitor died when they uh, they replaced the screen. You see, it's just a coincidence. Well, it's a bad coincidence. It, it, when it happened on your shop, trying to replace the screen. Let me get the battery. Yeah? But it's not about this phone, it's about the way how you check the face. And 
and thus the here are the most faults on a phone actually most of the faults they are they are on the on the on the power rails yeah most of the faults one amp probably the screen is that 1.9 amp you can see the current here on the on the ammeter let me grab a screen maybe maybe it has more faults give me one second okay I told them always you know I told them you know what when you replace the screen just uh, just remove the battery you know it's the phone it's it uh, you have um, uh, you have a detection circuit so if the, the screen is not plugged in there should not be like uh, the LCD voltage there like 20 24 or how much it is but you can't count on that one so just remove the battery every time when you replace the screen on laptops on phones let's just wait for the screen Okay. Uh, merci. So today is Tuesday. Hmm. Long way till Friday. for the screen screen plugged in battery plugged in and the phone is not displaying yeah it's charging the battery sorry is the battery sign on the screen but with two amps should be quickly on hopefully Yeah, I got tricked by uh, by my mistake. On that case, on that case, what can be wrong? Can be wrong with uh, let's say, yeah, the phone is on. When actually you have a short here, no short. It's taking too much power here. You have connected to this power rail, this MOSFET, and this. And most of the problems are coming around this chip when it's taking power here on this power rail. Yeah? 
So the phone is fine. Okay. That was the problem, which actually was not short. Yeah, one more time. Was not short. Was taking too much power. A capacitor which is taking 1.4 amps. Yeah. Rare, rare case, but it can happen. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one, yeah? Bye.